Hey, fools. How are you guys? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. We're going to jump right into this meal prep. We are going to make a beet, apple, and carrot salad. So, and what else? I think we're going to make a zucchini, spaghetti zucchini, and some sweet potatoes. And what am I making today? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm making some, what? Sweet potatoes, uh, sauteed mushrooms, and quinoa, and then zucchini noodles. And we're going to do this beet salad for the week. So I doubled the recipe. It requires one apple. I got three because, you know, it's three of us. Three beets and three carrots. So let me wash everything off. You're going to skin your beets, skin your carrots, and leave the apples as is. And, you know, take off some of your uh, cilantro. And that's what we're going to do. So let's jump right into this meal prep. Okay, I have the beets and carrot skin. I'm going to use the grater. We're going to use this side to grate the carrots and the beets. And then we're going to mix everything up in a bowl. And I'll show you the seasonings that you will need next. All right, guys, let's put this beet and apple carrot salad together. So we're going to pour in the apples. I told you guys I cut three apples. They're all there. And then we're going to cut, well, I shredded the um, carrots, like I told you guys. So the carrots is going in there. Three carrots. Let me get everything. Okay. And then we have the three beets that are shredded. Let me see if you guys can see everything. Okay, so this is going to be good, guys. All right. So let's put all the um, wet and dry ingredients together. So I am going to pour, what? A lemon and a half of juice. I squeezed it. So let me just whip this up some. I will put the um, picture up of all the ingredients so you guys can see it, just in case you wanna make this salad. So this is the honey, the olive oil, the drying, Ingredients, you know, everything is in here. All right, so. And then the salad is done. All you have to do is mix everything together. So, oh, this looks good. So you gotta give it a good mix because that honey is a little thick. I should have melted the honey, but it's all right. Let's see, this is my first time um having this salad i do not know what it tastes like i really don't like beets but i want to try it it's a little sweet and spicy so let's see if it's any good i'm going to taste it with you guys and let you know but i'm going to mix this up really really well and then my family and i we're just gonna have to eat it because we can't waste food right so if anything you could just always sprinkle some more cinnamon and add some more honey to your liking and maybe throw in some nuts or something you know some raisins just so you can eat it okay so we're mixing everything up i want to taste it real quick let me see because i ain't gonna taste it. this y'all i have to taste it oh i hope i like it i should have just did a little bit huh you probably don't even like it i have to add some raisins and stuff That's good. Mmm, mmm. Oh, this is a bomb. Okay. I thought it was gonna taste nasty, but it's good. My husband, he likes stuff like this. But I don't really care for it, but it is good. Mason, come taste. So, I am cooking for my family. You know, so we use the same spoon. Hola. <laughs> Wait, let me see. <laughs> okay, here. Did I give you too much? Mm -mm. Okay. 
Tell them what you think. It tastes sweet. It tastes sweet and good, huh? Because of the apples and the honey. All right, so Mason likes it. I like it, and you guys already know Honey Bunny is going to like it because this is what he eats, so I don't really be messing with them beets. I remember my mom and grandma trying to give me beets. Uh-uh, do not eat. But yeah, this is a good recipe to also introduce to your children so they can eat kind of healthy. You know, make it a little sweet, still healthy. It's raw honey and cinnamon in here, so it tastes good. It is. So I'm going to show you what you're going to have to do with the, um, what was it, cilantro? And then we're going to move on to the next dish. So I'm just having this dish um, by itself. This is not going to be like included in the uh, meal prep containers. I'm just going to put this in one of my pretty bowls and put it in the refrigerator. And we're just going to eat this throughout the week. And then you're just going to get you some of that cilantro, a little bit of it. Chop it up real fine. And then um, sprinkle it over your... Um, salad and that's it so here it is guys really nice i like it so cute makes you want to eat it all right let's go to the next meal so the next dish we're going to make the yams i'm going to cut them wash them cut them in half and um put them in a pan and let them bake in the oven we're going to be doing a um, saute mushrooms and we're going to do the quinoa i have it here organic quinoa and you just follow the instructions and make sure to wash your quinoa off before you cook it so let's get to this meal here okay the potatoes are washed i'm going to cut them down the middle and then like them like that and then i'm just gonna lay them on the pan and let them cook until they get real soft see that that's how i'm going to cook them let me put them over my pan um i may put some olive oil on the back matter of fact let me do it right now i was supposed to do that before I slice them. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in my hand and kind of, you know, rub it around. That's all you gotta do. And just take some of that, you don't need to keep doing it. Rub it on this one. I forgot, that makes the process, you know, quicker in the oven for them to get soft. So all you gotta do is rub it around. Now, take the knife and just, this one kind of small, so I'm going to see what I'm going to do with that one. So, I'm going to cut them down the middle and then slice them in half. Let me see. This one is a tough one right here. Okay, so this is sliced in half. I may need to use a, um, another so i have two more here and then i'll be back we are about to um saute the mushrooms and i'll show you what you need to do okay so the water is um ready almost for the quinoa so i'm just doing my um garlic here for the mushrooms I'm just um, going to take that off, put it in my little um, chopper here. I have a small chopper and this chopper is like really, really good to be a small chopper. It really chops up um, your onions and your, um, well, anything like small your bell peppers but you know you just have to cut it up a little bit but this chopper works really good i don't know where my honey bunny got it from so 
I just wanted to show you guys. So I am doing three, six garlic cloves and I'm going to chop them up and get ready to do the um, mushrooms. Okay, that one don't need to be chopped. I'm chop that off. So this one is just really cute and little. I like it. It doesn't take up much space. And then you just there we go. Okay. So it is doing its fine. Okay, that's ready. And then I am going to wash off the chive. All right, I'm using my favorite cast iron skillet. Come on now, babe. <laughs> Throw it in there for me. So I'm going to use four tablespoons of butter. I know it seems like a lot. Split out. <laughs> oh, get my wooden spoon for me, please. I'm going to try to give me like a... Um, I'm gonna try to boot this camera so I don't have to use two hands. My wood spoon right there. See it? So, throw in them, um, girl. Shake the butter, shake the butter, shake the butter. Yes, shake the butter. Okay. Okay, we got the garlic in there. And then. We're gonna let this saute for a minute. You got all of them. Uh uh, get the rest of my garlic about it in. Look, babe, you put stuff on the floor. You ain't paying me for this. Okay, well, you ain't eating it. I need yeah. my fare. Pay your fare. Pay your fare. Yeah. Pay your fare. Pay your fare. <laughs> okay, so the sweet potatoes are in the oven. The quinoa is boiling. And we have this. Okay. So give me those uh, mushrooms. Pour them in there, babe. So we're just gonna. Hey! Uh uh, you pop a grease on my stuff, boy. Okay, I don't need your help, thank you. Hey! Uh uh. So those are three uh, containers of the mushrooms. So we just gonna let this cook down and then I'll be back. Everything is cooking down. You're gonna put you a little salt. Just a little bit, and then black pepper. You guys know I like that black pepper. And then you're going to mix it all together. All right, so the last step, you're just gonna sprinkle the chives on top and mix it around, and there it is. All right, I am going to prepare my zucchini noodles. I do have this tool here. I believe I'm going to do uh, maybe thin. Let's see how it comes out. So I'm just using the tool, if you guys can see that. And all the um, zucchini is going to look like noodles. I leave the skin on. So I'm going to get all the noodles prepared. And then we're going to take it over to the skillet. Two zucchinis will make a lot, but you guys know my whole family is um, going to eat off this dish. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, but I'm just going to cook four for now. And then later on in the week, I'll cook the rest. I had to switch to thick noodles. I just want to show you that really quick and how thick. The noodles will be that's how thick they'll be so I didn't want them that thin so we have some thin and thick noodles all right we about to cut the tomatoes in half and do this onion so I'm putting my garlic into my chopper and I'm going to start that so that can be done. So you guys can see it. Putting it in my chopper. And then let it go. Okay, so I'm gonna set that to the side. And then the onion, I'm just going to cut it in half like that. And then 
set the other half to the side and I'm just going to chop it like that so it can be in the um, skillet like this. I think I want them long like this. Let me see. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to toss them in there like that. So let me set that to the side because everything needs to be cut. So we're going to cut the tomatoes just in half. So I use a whole container of cherry tomatoes. So I'm just cutting them in half. Cutting them in half. And then we are going to go over there and cook our, I would say spaghetti um, noodles, but there's not gonna be any like tomato sauce and stuff. This is just like a, um, what is it like Italian noodles or something? I don't know. I just made something up like real quick. Cause I just be putting all this stuff in um the skillet. But it's like zucchini noodles, but not you know spaghetti noodles. You know how you be substituting like you don't want the um regular noodles, so you just do a zucchini spaghetti um noodles, but this is just zucchini noodles little you know italian dish so i will be back when it's time to put all of the ingredients into my cast iron skillet so i will see you guys all right guys i have the onion the garlic and i put the seasoning on the um onion and garlic just to give it more flavor i will add more seasoning later and I will have all the ingredients. I will put a picture on the side so you guys can see all what you, you know, need to do. I might, I may have put it in there already, but you guys know. So I'm just showing you right now. So I'll be back. I'm going to start dumping the noodles into the um, skillet. Okay, the noodles are in the skillet. So we're just going to combine everything with good. So... I will be back to put the tomatoes in there and then you'll be done. This dish doesn't take long because it cooks pretty fast. So that's that guys. We have the tomatoes in there and we're just going to combine everything. I added some more seasoning and then I will taste it when it all cooks down to see if I need to add anything else. So that is everything that belongs in this. Italian zucchini noodle dish. Everything is cooked down and it was quick and easy. A good five to what, eight minutes. So it's ready. I'm gonna put it in the containers and that is it guys. No more cooking, all done. All right, all the meals are in their containers. So here they are. So over here we have the Italian noodles. I put a lot of seasoning in there. I didn't use salt. I used a lot of pepper, like Italian seasoning and all that stuff. It tastes really, really good. So that's that. And then over here we have the sweet potato and the sauteed mushrooms over the quinoa. I poured some of the juice um, of the mushrooms on top of the quinoa. It tastes really, really good. So that is it. You really don't need to add anything to the sweet potatoes. Well, I know I don't because these ones are really sweet. So it is good. So this is my meals for the week. And then don't forget, I'm going to have that beet, carrot, and apple salad, which is delicious. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this meal prep. If you did, you already know what to do. Leave a nice, wonderful comment. And I hope everyone has a beautiful night and a wonderful tomorrow.